For healthy food, we need a healthy plant. So how do we protect it from attack? There's, there's some things that a farmer can do in terms of how they grow the plant, but they also need the equivalent of the medicines that we have, and those are crop protection products. And a crop plant like this one is really vulnerable. It can't run away. If it is attacked, there's nothing much it can do. If it catches a disease, it can't cure itself. With crop protection products, at the kernel of them, there's the active ingredient. The active ingredient is normally a, a molecule, or, a, or maybe more than one molecule, that is precisely designed to kill a pest or a weed or a disease or solve a problem. It may actually solve a stress that the plant is under. We don't find active ingredients by chance. We design them. They have to be safe to operators and consumers. They've got to be safe to the environment. They've got to be really effective in use, easy to use. They've got to be cost effective also, otherwise our farmers won't, won't be able to use them. And to do that, we use a wide range of science. We design these by firstly using genomics to understand how the genes work and what are the critical points that we might be able to target a pest or a weed or a disease. We use physiology and biochemistry to understand what's going on inside the crop plant and inside the pests and diseases that are attacking it. We use biokinetics, which help us to understand how the active ingredients will move through the plant. Will they move into the root? Will they move into the leaves? How do we keep them out of a fruit, for example? We can use these to design the molecules, and our chemists are really clever at designing using that science to really precisely target the molecule, the active ingredient, exactly where we need it to do its job. This has had a huge benefit. Back in the 1960s, there were tens of kilos of active ingredient being applied to a hectare of a field. Today, it's tens of grams. It's minuscule. Because of this precision, over the last 30 years, we've lost 30% of active ingredients globally because they no longer work effectively or they no longer meet societal expectations. When we're designing now, I'm not designing for what we need now, what our farmer needs today. I'm thinking 10, 15, 20 years into the future. What will they want? What will my kids want? What will you want on your table in 10 or 15 years? And then how can we design our active ingredients to meet those expectations.